Yeah, yeah, check one, two, check one, two. Is this mic on? Is this mic on? Hey, listen, man. It's the one and only trend set of DJ Sense, and you're listening to Cocktails. Dirty Discussions with Kiki and Medina Monroe. Yeah. countdown you didn't see it? i saw it oh, it's I going see it. is it <laughs> recording a- mm-hmm. oh okay <clears throat> <laughs> today's cocktail is called the drake the ingredients you need two ounces of spiced rum one ounce of maple syrup one ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice that's about a half of a lime one fourth ounce of apple cider an eighth teaspoon of ground cinnamon and one stick of cinnamon for garnish so in a shaker you're going to add all the ingredients except the cinnamon stick duh along with the half a cup of ice shake vigorously to dissolve ground cinnamon and pour mixture along with ice into an old-fashioned glass to serve garnish with a cinnamon stick that is called the drake and it's actually a Canadian drink. That's why I named it the Drake after my baby. Okay, welcome back to Cocktails Ready Discussions, you guys. Medina, how was hey, your week? My week was good. Um, I don't you think it's crazy when you have to like recap your whole week on Thursdays? And sometimes I just truly forget like everything that went on in my week. I don't know. Why? But um, <laughs> I ordered some stuff for my sister's baby, my mm-hmm. little niece, Disney, and my other little niece, Zadie, who's on her way. Um, I switched my gynecologist to a black gyno and kind of pushed back all my yearlies. That episode that we have with doc- had with Dr. Hawkins really inspired mm-hmm. me to get black doctors. Mm-hmm. Um, so I changed my gyno and I set up all my yearly exams uh, for this year. I'm excited about that. I'm getting old. I'm really excited. Yeah, you got to stay going to the doctor when you get older because you don't want to be like, oh, well, we could have caught it two years ago. Like, God Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I had an eye exam. Girl, I am blind. Like, each time I go to get my eyes checked, Mm -hmm. it gets worse. And they gave me a pair of uh, contacts so my eyes can start readjusting and I ordered some contacts but I have the contacts as you can see I don't have them in right now but mm-hmm. um when I put those contacts in with the updated prescription mm-hmm. I was like how have I even been seeing like it was like a whole new world <laughs> <laughs> so what does it is it like really blurry or like what well, like this is an old prescription because my new stuff okay. hasn't come in yet. But it right now it doesn't look blurry. But when I put the contacts in with my new prescription, I was like, oh, wow, I can definitely see can the see difference. difference. So when I take my contacts or my glasses off, uh-huh. oh, yeah, everybody's just like a little a little smudge. Like, like ah. just it looks like I'm underwater from a distance. I am blind as a bat. Like, oh, my God. Yeah. If Would I'm you ever do LASIK? Oh. Uh, I'm nervous. Hannah had a yeah. really bad experience with LASIK, almost went blind, and oh, it was just no. too close to home. I was like, I'm good with my contacts and my glasses. I don't see I told right you now. I'm not my granddaddy. He did go yeah. blind after he had a surgery, so I get um, it. Yeah, girl. Um, what you been up to this week? <sighs> working, uh, working, oh, and working, dude. and sometimes it's fun, like when I'm doing stuff for me, for us. But sometimes it's not. Um, <laughs> when you deal with people who are just like mean for no mm-hmm. reason, it's like okay, you're having a bad day. I let you slide, but then when it just keeps happening, it just becomes very difficult. And so that has been rough. Um, I was making some cooking videos this week. So that was really fun. Um, Trying out some new ideas. What else did I do this week? Um, I have been watching this show on um, what network. I think it's TLC. It's called Mm -hmm. Welcome to Plathville. It's this family and they're in South Georgia. They all look alike like children. Reality or scripted? Reality. And it's this family, they have homeschooled all these kids that all look the same. And then the older kids have grown up and they're like, our parents are crazy. We don't want to live here. We want to have our own lives because they have like restricted them of technology. They didn't go to school. Are they like Mormon or Amish or something? No, it's some, they're, um, I forget the name of it. It's a Christian group, but it's Mm -hmm. like a super strict Christian group. And so they they even left the church that they were a part of because they didn't like how the church 
was running things. It was just a lot. And um, are they the white kids, or black? They're white. Okay. They look, literally look like the children of the corn. White <laughs> and all blonde and just, you know, they're out in a farm in Cairo, Georgia. Anyway, the show is really good. It's really interesting. And then just when you see the kids like who leave home and how happy they are. And I'm just like, I can't wait for the other kids to grow up. Anyway, that has been my new obsession. So I've been watching that. And then I found um, some more like crazy sex experience shows. Like, you know how they have sex sent me to the ER. Mm -hmm. I found one called Sex Sent Me to the Slammer. That's actually where my weird sex story for today comes from. But yeah, um, so watching TV, trying to trying to balance. I'm still not doing so great with my planning. Um Mm -hmm. And I'm just like I don't I don't know what to do. I I think I probably need to wake up much earlier. I want to know who you looking at though, because you really looked to the side like somebody was about to say, "Here you go, Kiki. This is what you do." I got planners everywhere, so I'm looking at them. I have another one over there. I can't reach it, but yeah, I just. Oh, have you ever but thought about making praying. a daily reminder on your phone that says, "Did you write in your planner today?" I've been writing in the planner. It's just. I don't know. I think mm-hmm. I'm underestimating the amount of time or maybe not even that. Cause really now that I think I'm saying this out loud and thinking about it, a lot of the stuff that happened this week, I think I could have gotten things done had I not had those hiccups, like little things going wrong oh. or somebody not being on top of their stuff. So then I have to go backtrack when I shouldn't be having to do all of this. You know, I thought you meant like actual like. <laughs> like hiccups i was like dang like hiccups hurt but they've never they do hurt (laughs) they really do (laughs) sometimes you do have to lay down uh i'm trying to think of what else Uh, that's all i can think of who knows maybe it'll come up later have you been on any dates unfortunately no um i do still want to go on some i am going where am i going a birthday dinner this week this weekend Mm -hmm. tomorrow yeah tomorrow so hopefully you know when i'm all dressed up and looking cute maybe i'll meet somebody there at the dinner um that is not with the group that i'm going with but you know just Mm -hmm. there or maybe like when we go and uh get together this weekend maybe i'll bump into someone i don't know Maybe I'll bump into somebody too i i thought that i was i thought i was gonna go on a date this week um i met this guy kiki uh when i was walking my dog uh uh-huh yeah Ooh. right Ooh. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's all exciting. It's exciting to meet somebody new. And I was walking my dog, and normally I don't do the whole walk up to the car thing, but he had a G-Wagon, so I was like, hop, skip, jump over to the window. And he gave me his card, and I look at his card. I'm like, okay, he's a little lawyer. He's probably, you know, intelligent. He's probably a great guy. You know, prejudging mm-hmm. him, which you shouldn't do because – you never know what somebody's going to be like. And so, Kiki, I just wanted to read a thread of our text messages because it's no more date is happening. And niggas oh. get on my nerves. And this is how dating goes in 2020. Welcome to I the dark is, side. Let's it's, hear yeah, it. It's the dark side. Because, you know, you know how we just did our episode about we going to be ourselves. We're going to be honest. And we are not accepting the bullshit. Okay. <clears throat> so... We had FaceTimed before I went out of town to Houston, and he seemed mm-hmm. really cool. He was nice. We had a good conversation. We were on the phone for maybe like 15 minutes. It was short, sweet, and quick. I was okay. like, oh, cool. Like, woo, woo. It, was, it was great. Um, so he sends me a message, and he goes, okay, let me just read the thread. <clears throat> How's Texas treating you? I said, it was a nice little getaway. I just landed back in Atlanta. He goes, very good. Now you can come land on a real lawyer street nigga. I said, what? What? I said, what? He said, let me know. Milk and honey over here on this side. I responded with, what does that mean? I was, I don't even know what that means. He goes, I got to show your little thick ass. I said, what? (laughs) He's almost 40. People think I'm reading this because people be thinking we're lying about these men. He goes, how did you rest last night? I said, I had a good night's rest. He goes, you will have better nights fucking with a tycoon. I said, you have to understand, I don't know him. I don't even know what that means. Is that some sort of wildcat? A tycoon? Yeah. No, that's like a like a big shot uh, business person, like an oil oh. tycoon or something. Like you are a boss up person if you're a tycoon. I'm sitting here thinking like he's a wildcat or something. <laughs> <I'm> so- <laughs> 
I was, re- I'm real. I felt like an old lady. I was oh really con- confused. So I said, you cuss a lot. Cause I don't like when people do this. He goes, no worries. Only on text and sex. Come here. I said, are you drunk? On he goes, text no, I'm just and texting. sex? Yeah. He goes, I said, you cuss a lot. He goes, no worries. Only on text and sex. Come here. And I said, are you drunk? He goes, no, I'm just texting the queen Medina. I said, oh, I don't think that's how you're supposed to talk to Queens. I've been watching the the crown and no, ain't nobody talking to Queen Elizabeth like that. He goes, well, I have two sides. Thug passion. Mm. So I'm reporting you to the bar, to the Georgia bar association. <clears throat> the next day I stopped texting him. the next day he goes how'd you rest I said knocked out he goes you haven't had your best rest yet I said what does that even mean he goes you were not cuddled and wrapped up in my big arms and I sent that serious face where you're like this and I said nor would I be because I'm trying to give him a chance and let him know you're mm-hmm. really t- coming to me the wrong way and you're about to get cut off he yeah. goes what does that even mean I, he goes um I was thinking about you this morning I said that means you're a little too forward for me and we don't even know each other he goes I don't I know I'm just messing with you don't mean any harm or disrespect just making sure you're not too sedity or pretentious you're doing good so far keep up the good work bitch I'm queen sedity how about that (laughs) and get the fuck out of my text messages before I call the guard security (laughs) come get him up out of my text messages like what's wrong with you and if that's what you want cool but you still need to skedaddle, okay? And you can tell by my responses, I was already not with this. Yeah. And then he's been texting me like, what are you doing? Let's go to dinner. I'm done. You don't even get a response anymore. I'm done. You didn't get it? You're you're a red flag. You're you not doing re- well right now. You're, you're too fucking, I don't even know. Are you even really a lawyer? And I don't know. It's just like, I wonder what he saw in you that made him even assume that you would be attracted to that. Because, I mean, I've known you forever, but if I just saw you on Instagram or something, is that where you said you met him? No, I was out. I was walking my dog. Oh, you were walking your dog. Well, even if I saw you, I just wouldn't assume that that's what you would want. You know, so I wouldn't even try to leave with that if I was a man. Right. I wouldn't either. I mean, I was walking, I did have my Ugg boots on and they're really dirty and they kind of look like construction boots, but I don't think that that should still make (laughs) you (laughs) treat me that way. Okay. Wait, why do the Uggs look like construction boots? Have they gotten hard (laughs) from the weather? I mean, they just like, you know, when Uggs get wet, I just, I don't know. Can you wash Ugg boots? I just never washed them. No, you have to get them cleaned, especially, but I mean, after a while they're ruined. Um, I had this friend- uh, we're not friends anymore, but she used to take her in college. She used to take her Uggs every year, scamming ass, take her Uggs every year t- back to Nordstrom and exchange them for a new pair. Cause you know, Nordstrom wouldn't require you to have a receipt or anything. And I'm like, girl, you are out of line. Cause you don't wore these all winter in snow <laughs> in DC and you're going to go and exchange them. Oh, but yeah, girl, I I don't, yeah, I've thrown many away. Mine, mine are busted. They probably need to go, but I, I hope the Uggs is not what it's incited him to, you know. I don't think speak so. To me he was way. just trying but, it. He was probably watching, I don't know. I just wanted to let all the ladies know that's a prime example of spotting a red flag and not going any further with it. It's a wrap. I don't care that you have a G Wagon. I do not care that you're a lawyer. I don't care that you're tall. You don't fucking talk to me like that. And that was the end of it. And yeah, I don't like that. I'll never forget. I met this man. This was many years ago um, in Target. And what was his name? His name was like Jelani or something. Fuck Jelani. Jelani was so disrespectful. So I met him in line. Now, physically, I wasn't attracted to him. But I was like, you know, every you can't always judge a book by its cover. He mm-hmm. was very polite in the store. Um, and we just, we kept bumping into each other in different sections. And so I ended up giving him my number. So he kept calling me. But I was like, he's blowing up my phone. I don't, I don't like that. First of all, you know how I am about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Do not disturb okay do not fucking disturb me during if you're not talking about house of atlanta or you're about to die and 911 can't get to you don't bother me i'll call you later and if it's too late i'll call you tomorrow i'm not having late night pillow talking conversations with the man i just met at target anyway he kept hitting me up kept hitting me up i was always busy when he hit me up and i would be like oh i'm at work blah 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 and he was like um you can be honest if you're a dancer and i was like what 
He was like, you're always at work, and you're saying it's loud. I work at 255. It is loud. And during the day, I work at the holding company. So I'm working all day. I really am working, and it's loud in here. You not talk about no money, no way. He was like, I mean, it's cool. And he would just call and call and call. Then he started cussing me out through text message. And that day I had time. So I was going back and forth with his ass. But he was cussing me out through text messages and talking about he should have known what type of girl I was and I didn't know how to deal with a nigga like him and he don't play that and I don't deserve what? anybody real like him because I'm just a dancer and all this other stuff and I'm like even if I a was dancer, a dancer did he know what 255 was? he didn't know what two. he thought I was lying about 255 and I'm just like I mean I didn't tell him I was at 255. I just told him I was at work. So he didn't know. Oh. But oh. I'm just saying for reference, that's where I was working at the time. So I'm just like, bro, I don't have time for this. So I ended up blocking him. He started calling me from different numbers. To this day, I still have so many blocks of him. Like he was calling the iCloud thing and everything. I'm telling or you. Or messaging like, the just, iCloud. Mm-hmm. It's important to share stories like that because people be thinking I'm lying. That, that men aren't out here. Grown men. I don't deal with young dudes. I deal with grown men. And a grown man sent me that, that text message, y'all. That's frustrating. It is. Because he was. I was like, oh, we're going to have fun. Oh, mm-hmm. that was the end of that. I'm not playing what with a, you niggas no more. What a big old piece of uh, disappointment. <laughs> I hate them. Um... Okay, well, I guess we could go ahead and um, move on to the game. Then we'll do weird sex in the discussion. So, okay, so these are just more I'm curious to know. I'm curious to know. You want to go this first? This girl sent one that was uh-huh. funny on Instagram. So I'm going to read this and we can okay. both just answer it. <clears throat> okay. She said, this might be a lame one, and I know y'all give a lot of good suggestions with Indecisive Diane, but I'm curious to know... Where y'all think the best places to meet single men in Atlanta is? Like, if I'm going out solo by myself, where do I need to catch a nigga? I always tell people when that's all you're trying to do, and you don't really care about the atmosphere, you don't even care what type of nigga, I always tell girls, go to the tavern at Phipps. Mm. That is the, if you just need you're seeking male attention and you want Mm -hmm. to make sure that you are going to receive it, go to Tavern at Phipps, whether it's by yourself or with your girlfriend, you're not going to pay for your tab. Now I don't know what you look like, but you do need to look, you know, somewhat attractive, but you don't, you want to pay for your tab. You'll have great conversation with men and you might end up going to the strip club afterwards, but you'll have a great (laughs) time and you will meet men. (laughs) Well, there you go. Cause girl, I don't know, but um, I'm going to take that suggestion. I have been there. There are a lot of men there. I haven't been in so long. I always forget about that place. I don't know. Yeah, I, Cause their food's not good. They have nothing else to offer, but you wouldn't, you'll meet yeah. men. All the men are there cause they hate the being married. Really isn't. And they're always out of stuff. Um, yeah. In my experience, I usually just go to the same old places that I like anyway, because if I go out and I don't meet anybody, I'm going to have attitude. So at least I could go somewhere that I wanted to go anyway. And if I meet somebody, I meet somebody. And you already know, this is what I like. This is the kind of stuff I like to do. I came here Mm -hmm. by myself. So this is kind of what I expect. I like to go to nice restaurants, sit at the bar when I can. And even when I go and just sit at a table by myself, if they're not allowing you to sit at the bar now. I just look around. I, I'm i not in my phone. I'm enjoying my food. I smile. Mm. You got to do different things so that people will at least notice you. They might wave or slide you a note. I mean, it ain't been happening to me, but they might. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe switch it up. If you go to one of the places and you do see a dude and he's by himself, make sure he's by himself and he's not waiting on somebody because you don't want to send the note and then the girl comes. And he's mm. by himself. Maybe you even send the note. I might try that this week and send somebody a send, note. Send a note. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Question. Um, which do you enjoy more making love or straight up fucking? This is the question from this little game I got. Oh, I, Oh, I'm gonna make love. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Better I, 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 yeah. I like to make love. What about I'm you? I'm old. I can't be doing all that fucking. I said the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Make love. Um, I'm curious to know when someone slides in your DMs, like a dude who's interested, do you mm-hmm. check to see how many followers he has before you respond? 
Um, I do look at it. I want to, and I don't look at it to see like, oh, he has too many or you can't have too little. If you have too little, I'm going to feel like, not like you're lame or anything, but I feel like, is this a real account? <laughs> like when you have like three followers or something like that, I'm like, who are you really? Right. Are who? you married? Is your wife stalking your real page? I'm looking at your pictures. Are you to a see, creep? Like, yeah. What kind of stuff have you posted? Have you posted anything? Is this just a bunch of, I don't know what it is. I've seen a lot of guys. They have like all these screenshot pictures of fucking lions and shit with these quotes on them talking about being kings and shit. And I just block <laughs> them because I don't, I don't like that. I don't mm-hmm. get it. I don't get um, it either, but I never bothered to try and understand it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, what this one fruit? says, oh, oh, sorry, that's you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what fruit would you say you most taste? Wait, what fruit would you say you taste most like and why? A fruit? Mm-hmm. I would say I don't really taste fruity, but if I just had to pick something, it would be more like on a coconut side, like mm. a coconut water side my my taste is really like even when when i take the taste of vitamins it just enhances like this water taste of mm-hmm. like i don't even know how to describe it because i have i taste myself all the time and it doesn't have a fruit <laughs> taste it tastes like mountain water <laughs> when did you have mountain water <laughs> like evian you know how it has the mountains on there like that's yeah i mean you're absolutely supposed to taste like water but that was just that was just the question okay what's yours okay this is another one from somebody on instagram i'm curious to know if y'all like to be recorded having sex i don't i do i enjoy it <laughs> i don't know why but i do um yeah, i love I, it it's I, been a while I'll since i've done nervous. it Really? Still? Yeah. Mm-mm. Still. Okay. This is my last one. Um, you want to surprise your partner sexually with a treat. What would it be and why? A treat. Mm-hmm. I would do a spa day, at, but it would be a spa day hosted by me, put together by me. Like, welcome to Medina's massage parlor massage museum actually (laughs) you are my muse there is a bowl of strawberries and whipped cream i actually just did this for someone and he lays down i give him a hot towel ask him um where you know his his, where does he want me to focus on he says Mm -hmm. full body i'm like okay and then like i'll rub him use some oil really from head to toe when i ask him to turn around i'll ask him if it's okay that i touch his genitals and give him the (laughs) best head of his life (laughs) the massage museum all right then girl okay do you have another one or was that it? no that was it that was good that was good okay all right so now we will move on to weird sex you said a man is not a necessity a man is a luxury like dessert (laughs) yeah a man is absolutely not a necessity did you mean that to sound mean and bitter oh not at all i adore dessert i love men i think men are the coolest but you don't really need them to live so you guys this week for weird sex as i mentioned earlier i was watching this show sex sent me to the slammer it's like a few years old but the first episode that i watched was uh they had two different stories so the first story i'll do um, i'll say the valentine's day story for the next episode but this Mm -hmm. one this guy had like a studio apartment somewhere i can't remember where um but he was going to be gone for a while so he sublet his apartment well Whoever was there, I think they were supposed to be out already, but they knew that he wasn't really going to be back. So there was like a little gap of time. Well, they overstayed. They're welcome. Do y'all know that these people had in this man's little ass apartment, they had an orgy full of all the BBWs. He said he got home. And did not know what the fuck was going on. He immediately called the police. And he was just like, shit was fucked up in his place. There were at least 12 people in there. 
Everybody was fucking and sucking all over the place. I don't know why they needed to tell us that it was the BBWs, I guess, just to paint the picture. But that was a part of the story. It was just Does that mean big, black, and wide? I, it what means does that mean? big, beautiful woman. Oh. <laughs> big, black, and wide. Lord. Okay. No, big, beautiful woman. So there were lots of big, beautiful be women in off. there getting it on. And um, whoever the host was, he had, I guess, charged these people, I want to say. I don't know. I took a quick nap. But I think he charged the people to come. And it just turned into a mess. But you can't be doing stuff like that. So That's disrespectful. He went to the slammer. Mm-hmm. Just wait till I tell y'all what happened to these people next week who had um, Valentine's Day plans that got totally fucked up. But anyway, that's it for Weird Dang. Sex. <laughs> you never know what's going on in your Airbnb or your VRBR, B- VRBO, whatever it's called. Yeah. Um. All right, y'all. So this week, with all the sex that we talk about, we are going to talk about some sex peeves that we pulled from the internet. So th- this is just like... People that and their sex peeves, and we're going to go through them and say if there are sex peeves as well, if we think they're kind of dumb, or if we actually like that shit. Because some of the stuff on the list, I'm like, girl, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so sex peeves, Kiki. Mm-hmm. Um, you have sex with a guy. Mm-hmm. You know, you like him and you enjoyed it. You're not ready to go home, but as soon as you're done, he calls you an Uber. What? That is a rude. I don't know what's worse. You just calling me an Uber or are you saying, what you about to do? Either one of them, I don't like it. My feelings would be hurt. I'd be like, damn, first of all, where's the breakfast? I don't get no snack. There's no cuddles. Like, I don't no. even think I would be able to hide that. Well, you know how sometimes men do disrespectful things and you're just like, oh, um. If I would I was like- in- Imagine you're still like laying down and he's like on his phone. You think he's just on Instagram bullshit. And he's like, hey, babe, your, your Uber's here. And you're like, oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I'm not ready. He's like, it's okay. I'm going to pay the extra fee, the waiting fee. Mm-hmm. Get, you, get your stuff together. It's time to go. I would be so mad. <laughs> I'm yeah. not going. I would be pissed. Okay, let's see. What else you got on here? When he immediately texts his friends. I'm trying to think if I've ever noticed someone do that. Or were they just slick with it? I'm sure it's probably happened. When they immediately text it. Like, you just fuck me and you want to go get on the phone? I mean, I, I can say I have had, maybe it wasn't your friends, but I've had people like get on the on the actual phone, like on a business call. And oh, I actually yeah. think that shit is sexy and we're still kind of I fucking. But if you it's just like, like dismissive, it? no, I don't mind that. If it's just like dismissive, like you didn't even say, oh, what you about to do? And you're just on the phone, like in your own world, totally ignoring that. I'm still here. You did not I'm pay s- me, bitch. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, that's rude. Especially, and you better not be over there giggling and laughing because then naturally you're like, what are y'all talking about? And then I'm going to feel like you texting a girl. Yeah. Who, Who is are she? you texting? If it's not your grandma, hang up. You ever feel like something went wrong during sex? Like if someone does some shit like that, I would feel like something went wrong. And then you start like trying to sniff your pussy. Like, does it smell bad? And you'd be trying to like know, fake it. Like Fan the sheets really quick. Like, <laughs> is everything all right down there? My you nose know, was a little me? stopped up. I don't know. I took a shower beforehand. I didn't eat nothing crazy, did I? Well, did I fucking eat asparagus again? You, you know? You'd be like, what happened? Like, why is this mm. nigga not called cuddle up does on my me? Does stink? Did I nibble your dick um, a little bit? Okay, so many you things. have some great, great, great sex. Y'all really mm-hmm. fuck the shit out of each other. And there's no cuddling after. He just goes straight to snore sleep. I mean, I wouldn't call it a sex peeve, only because I feel like I have done an excellent job if I just wore you out and you pass out. And I don't care if you... Think we not going to cuddle. We are cuddling. I'm throwing this big ass thigh up over you and I'm laying across you with my arm like that. And I'm going to snuggle up in that little nook in the arm. We cuddling. We <laughs> Period. We are. Now, the snoring. I need to fall asleep first. I'm going to be a Let little aggravated, but I can sleep through it. Snoring is the only thing I can't sleep through. Um. So 
it would it's a sex peeve of mine if even if we did wear each other out i don't want you to just go directly to knock out sleep because i'm like you i want that cuddle too i like that cuddle i know i want I you to be, talk about it a little bit yeah give me some compliments. i want to like i want you to still like if i get up to go like wipe off and wash my hands and stuff maybe brush my teeth if we got a little too nasty and i come <laughs> back and you just knocked out and and if you are knocked out then i go back in the bathroom and i wrap my hair and I'm like <laughs> wrapping my hair with an attitude. Nigga, wake up. I still wanted to cuddle and, you know, whisper sweet nothings to each other. And then don't you know start I snoring. Want I can't, yeah. I can't sleep <laughs> through snores. I got to put my AirPods in, bro, and put it on loud wave sounds on the highs. I cannot sleep through a snore. You should get those, uh, the, the AirPod Pros. They have like a noise cancellation thing. So even if you're not playing anything, it does something and it like cancels it. I love that shit. Never oh, tried I bed. need to get that because I have when I the past time when I put my AirPods in and was sleeping with the wave sounds on loud because the nigga was snoring too loud. I had a dream and it was a crazy dream. And I know it was because the wave sounds and the birds chirping. I had a dream that I was sitting in a bathroom with my dad and my brother and my dad convinced me to shave my hair. And there were a whole bunch of Indians around me going. Ooh! And then my brother looked at me and was like, this you look ugly. And then I woke <gasps> up. <laughs> okay uh next one <laughs> next peeve okay when he doubts his performance I, does that that's bother annoying you? that's the sex peeve that's because probably like, like oh. one of the highest ones look body language and my reaction is everything you are you're not gonna have to doubt your performance you're gonna know if it wasn't good if i'm calling my own uber before my clothes are on <laughs> if I don't want to cuddle, I, that's annoying yeah. to me. Yeah, it it bothers me. It's like it's one thing if you're trying to like fish for compliments, which I don't really like that shit either. But that's a little different. But when you are truly insecure about your performance, bro, go fuck some other bitches first, and then, mm -hmm. well, you're not gonna come back to me. But you know, just for the future, you need to fuck some other people so that you have more confidence in your sex because this is ridiculous. I'm not your mama, and I'm damn sure not your grandma. I'm not about to coddle you through sex. I'm not. Either it was good or like, what? I don't even know how to coddle you through sex. Like, just imagine he's like, you're laying in the bed and you are cuddling. He's like, but did you did you even like how you know I was hitting it from the back? Did you even like? Did you really like it? I would say no. I, you would say no. <laughs> even if I did, like you ask Savage. stupid questions, you get stupid answers. Why are you asking me this? And <laughs> if if the answer was truly no, did you really want to hear that? And if it was no, do you really think I'm about to let you redeem yourself in this moment after you just said this? Yeah. I'm getting older. I have less time on this earth. I used to be open to giving people multiple chances and stuff, but I, and eh, a little bit still, but I think it's like saying something and just vocalizing that insecurity. I just. Ugh. You need yeah. a friend to talk to. Call your dad. You need a friend. And you and really you just you don't need to do that with the woman. You need to just put on some porn and mimic what you're seeing if you are questioning your sex capabilities because don't nobody want to coddle you through fucking. We already got to coddle y'all through dating us, how to through be life. emotional, how to communicate. Now I got to tell you how to fuck in a non like it's not even sexy. It's not like I'm just telling you. Know you know who I, I don't have to tell is my toys. Can you get out so I can use them in peace without you breathing on me? I just got one of those granddaddy vibrators, the ones that look like a the what? massage things for your back. I call it the granddaddy uh, vibrator because it's just a big old stick. With I got one of those, yeah. Bruh, you can't get used to those because it, it's, it's too much. So I quick. use it on my neck. It's too <laughs> much. Okay. My pussy is not that um, big. Is it a sex peeve if he asks if you came? Did you come, baby? Did you come? No. Um, it's not a peeve, but sometimes it's just annoying. Like, so you want me to lie? You want me to tell the truth? <laughs> you know, that's how I'm feeling when he asked me. Um, I think it would be better to just say how many because you know that I did. How many mm -hmm. times did you come? But you need to be super confident. I don't know too many people who should be that confident. So that is a question I don't want nobody asking me. I actually, I like the you question. Like 
I do. And I, I like it because when I ask that question, I'm asking because I know I just made you come and I just want that. Um, I just want to hear it. I just want, I need the confirmation, but I know I, that I made you come and it felt good and I want to hear it in your voice. So if you're <laughs> asking me, I'm assuming you're asking because you too know that you just fucked the shit out of me. I'm still coming. I want you to ask me while I'm still coming. You know how you'd be like shaking? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah. I, I like, I don't mind. I prefer, that. I prefer for them to ask like, you know, do you like it? Not did you come? Mm. Just the come one. Uh, you like this? You know, that kind of thing. I like that. Mm-hmm. Niggas, we really be talking during sex. I know I do. <laughs> and I like it. I like some some words coming out. Because I don't want silence. Sometimes yeah. it's no music, you know. Um, do I know? Bitch, I have see. a whole playlist. <laughs> um, Let's see. Is it a, a a sex peeve if he when he gives a play by play? No, it's not. So me is this my, like beforehand? What does this mean? A play by play? I think it can be. A, I think it has to be. It can either be before or after. A lot of the times with my sex partner now, it happens after, and we literally will talk about it for weeks. Like for instance, he will call me and be like. Did you like how I was eating your pussy and we are like, oh, I like shaking? that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that too. I like when we really can like talk about I like it before <sighs> and after. <laughs> yeah. Cause you, I'm saying like you could do it before or after because before, let's say you're flying in the scene and he's like, let me tell you what I'm about to do to that booty hole. Mm. Oh, <laughs> not that part. And then you're not like, that part, but yeah, I'm about to yeah. suck your dick so good. My jaws are about to be falling off. Like, I like the play by play. Yeah, I do too. It feels it feels good to like know, especially if you do it before and you actually you live up to what you said. Now you can't be doing the play by play before if if you're not really gonna do the shit you're talking about. I hate when people do oh, that. Yeah, because like, then that's just to- talking shit. Yeah, talk well, shit, get all- hit. That's what's about to start oh, happening. Is that the same? No, I just it just came out of my head. I had a shot of tequila. <laughs> it was a very oh, rough shit, day. Get hit, nigga. What's up? Yeah, like why the we fuck are, did you say that to savage me? Or get bit when you put that dick in my mouth. Mm-hmm. So just don't talk shit, and you'll be fine. Yeah. So some of y'all really need to just do the play by play afterwards. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We can go left. <laughs> Um, let's see. What about when he wants to cuddle? I feel like you're definitely a cuddler. We talk about it often. I I can just cuddle cuddle and not have sex. Yeah, I can cuddle and even if we don't have sex. And I am the type of cuddler where I can cuddle all night as long as we don't get hot and sweaty. But y'all already know I put the temperature on 64 degrees. So we're actually cold and we need to cuddle. I'll just take off more clothes. Yeah, I'm, I'm a cuddler. Cuddling. I want to cuddle mm-hmm. even if we're not like, if it's a one night stand, I want to cuddle. Yeah, I think- it's not about the person. <laughs> I just like to feel like a man on me and I like to be all twisted up. Intertwined, mm-hmm. entangled. Yeah, I want an entanglement. And then we can get up and go about, you know, normal day. Then we're doing all yeah. that shit during the daytime. It only goes down in the bed, Okay. Don't you love it when you're entangled and cuddling with somebody and your hair is freshly done and you still look cute when you're rolling over? You just Your hair is just like that sexy, messy hair. And you're just like, and I know I look really cute. And you just toss around. Yeah, I need to wash mine so I can try that again because it ain't. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's getting stiff. I've been trying to have sex hair all damn week. And, uh, <laughs> I love some I got good three sex curls hair. left. Um, is it a sex peeve if y'all fuck and you know you do all the stuff you cuddle in mm-hmm. and then he asks you for some food like you're gonna get it like jody did you gonna get in there clean up make them tacos right oh hold up i'm a cook i'm a <laughs> don't you talk to me like that <laughs> don't you talk to me like that now okay i don't mind because i'm be wanting some food too right but you need to put it down if you're expecting a meal like, if you want me to get in there and cook, I don't really take shortcuts when it comes to cooking. I'm not making no quick grits. I'm not making, you know, little ass things, microwavable bacon, um, stuff like that. I'm going to make yeah. a real meal, whatever time of day it is. So you needed to put in work otherwise and be like, I mean, do you have Uber Eats? I can send you a thing. You'll get $15 off. 
Have you tried DoorDash? What about GoPuff? Because uh, I can give you $16 on there. Um, they probably deliver to your house, too, if you just want to go home. <laughs> I'm not making you no food. If you have to, if I want to, if we're talking about he's asking for food and we're going to cook it, if I want to do that for you, I'm going to just naturally get up and do it. I, if you ask me to do it, I'm looking like, I, don't I might not, do though. It. I might not, only because if he asks in a nice way or just like kind of mentions that he's hungry, but I just can cuddle for a long time and I'll be like, oh, yeah, I guess I could get up. I am hungry. That was my stomach growling. <laughs> get up, bitch. Yeah, bro, and the bed just, just is so to, comfortable. Mm-hmm. It'd be comfortable. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to order that Uber Eats. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, I wouldn't say it's a peeve, but I am going to be like... It's annoying. Well, what you about to do? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no groceries at your house? <laughs> you ain't got no food delivery apps on your phone? I know you fucking <laughs> lying. Oh, my God. One of my friends told me that this guy asked him on a date. And um, he wanted to go out to eat or something. But where I, I forget what city they were in. Um, Cause he wasn't in the city where he lives, but restaurants are closed. There's no dine in option. So he, the mm-hmm. other guy was either going to cook for him or he was going to, um, he was going to cook for him or he was going to order some food. When he got up there to the dude's house, he was like, so what you want to eat? So he was like, you didn't pick nothing out. You didn't get groceries, nothing. Do you know he That's told him he didn't have no food delivery apps on his phone? Why didn't he say something beforehand? What? I don't know. So then my friend had to order the food and he was like, when it was all said and done, I paid X amount of dollars for the food. And then he, um, Venmoed me like half of it. And I said, Oh hell no. I would That be sounds like a classic case of, I have $8 and 13 cents in my account and I am starving. Let me trick somebody over here so that they can feed me real quick. Cause I You're need right. to eat some food i'm i'm literally on my lap i'm hungry um that's that's rude um very this is definitely a sex peeve peeve when he refuses to kiss oh yeah i don't like that it's one thing if you're not a good kisser and i don't want to kiss you but if it's like i go in for a kiss and you move are we doing the snake (laughs) what's going on why are you dodging me i don't understand that's not i would actually i don't we're not even having sex i don't sometimes when i've had some of my girlfriends who could be classified as like hoes and when i say hoes like you know in high school like the girls that were the hoes and it was like like people would fuck them but you wouldn't kiss them or talk to them the guys wouldn't and it's like okay but girls that like don't want people don't want to kiss i've never had someone really just be like i and i'm not kissing you i'm just here for the pussy i don't if someone did that to me Mm-hmm. I could not even go the sex route with you because I I like foreplay and kissing is a part of foreplay. I like to kiss while I'm riding you. That is what like ignites my freakiness. Mm-hmm. If you talking about some we not kissing, I'm like, why? Does my breath stink? Do you right. like? Do you think I'm just out here sucking a whole bunch of dicks? Like, why don't you want to kiss? Yeah, that would hurt that's my a, feelings. Yeah, that's like intimate. Like if you it's won't intimate. do it. I don't always have to kiss when I'm having sex. Um, I do like it, but I don't always mm-hmm. have to. I don't think, uh, I don't like kissing everybody. But mm-hmm. I still need the option to be there. If it's not there, it's like, what the fuck? Excuse yeah. me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. next one. Let's see. Um, when he boasts, I hate it. Except for if you really deserve it. I feel like most of the guys, not all, but most of the guys Mm -hmm. who are extremely boastful about their sex should shut the fuck up immediately. But if you have left me in tears or you've ever gotten like just a random video of me fucking myself telling you that I'm thinking about when we had sex, then you can do it. Everybody else, you deserve be a quiet. Boast. Yeah, you do. Because if I'm saying shit like that to you, like I'm still replaying when we had sex and how good it was. You deserve. I might have food ready when you get here. You know what I mean? Ooh, I can go to your house. You, it don't, you know, it all. It doesn't matter. But if that's not what it is, mm-mm. and I just wonder, like, do men take note of that? Do men that get that type of treatment, like, you just know you put it down, and the, every woman you fucked is satisfied, and she's like, 
I made a Thanksgiving meal for you. I know you're hungry, baby. What do you need? What do you want? Do they know that they are putting it down like that? I think they know because they'd be real confident. The ones I know, they know. It's like that you that the man who is putting Ugh. it down, I feel like he never walks with his head low. It's actually a little high. Like, damn, put your chin down just a little bit. I feel like his upset. niggas even know that he be he And they be just be like up like you know? And it's just like <laughs> And they and really like, don't boast. Now that you think about it, the ones who really should be boasting, they don't because they just know because they get that kind of treatment. They only do it like in a personal conversation during the play by play stuff like yeah. that. But it's not like, yeah, nigga, I'm getting pussy and I fucked this bitch and did all that. No need. Everybody knows. We saw you. We know. We know. We see how you walk. Oh, sometimes you can just Let tell me send a text a message. <laughs> you send a message. <laughs> <laughs> What's the text message say? Hey, Zaddy. <laughs> I, you know what? I actually want every girl right now, if you have a nigga that you have fucked and he put it down, just text him randomly. Just say thank you. Just text him thank you. He, this, well, never mind. Thank you. Not, save that for when we catch up over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> just text that man. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Next one. Um... When he tries to just stick it in, how old are we? Okay. I hate that. First of all, it's extremely inconsiderate. Do you know how, like, a woman's anatomy works? Like, sure, sometimes you wake up in the morning and your pussy might already be wet. You might have had an excellent dream. But I ain't really ready yet. Not all the time, you know? I want to be touched and everything. I'm not just an orifice for you to stick your little peen in. Exactly. Like, I'm and still you, a person, and I want to enjoy this experience, too. And if you like if it. you do just want to quickly stick it in, and I really don't understand how, like, grown men are still out here doing this, but it's almost like you... It, this should be an experience for the both of us. Every time. Right. Like, I want this to feel good. I want you to feel good. You don't want me to feel good. And then it's like, if you're just rushing to just stick the hole in, that's all that you're caring about right now. I like to have sex partners that care about my whole body. So you're not in such a rush to just shove your dick in. We might be doing foreplay for about 20 minutes before we even get to sex. I love foreplay. I love foreplay. I really don't think you can have good sex cocktail worthy sex if you're not doing foreplay unless it is a quickie in the bathroom or something but like if we're laying in a bed and it's and we're comfortable and we're sensual we got the playlist on it you just pull your pants on and ready to stick it in i'm like whoa did you just get out of jail that's why i be telling y'all i don't always have a cocktail because sometimes the experiences is no experience so it's just like what what am i tell y'all yeah stuck it in i got attitude (laughs) Yeah, you can guess that happened. Uh, okay, is oh well, that was the last one. Yeah, I don't mm-mm. sex peeves. You know, I've I'm obviously have a lot of them. I'm sure no one is surprised. I'm extremely irritable. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna pray on it though. I was I was talking. I had text one of my homegirls from a group chat. I had to text her on the side like, I know you'll just tell me. I know I've been extremely irrit- irritable this week. Um. But am I tripping about X, Y, and Z because everything is getting on my nerves, but this is about to make Mm -hmm. me blow up. And so she was like, "Uh, no, but yeah, I could tell you were in a a mood. And I'm like, why am I so goddamn moody? Are you about to start your period? I don't know. Yeah. I'm about to start my period. Something is going on in the moon and the stars and the sun. Everything is working against me right now. And people keep trying me and it's like. Somebody going to get that work. I'm this close, okay? <laughs> and I got my nails done, so I keep wanting to talk with my hands. How we talked about the other day, and I'm really loving them. So I want everybody to see. Can y'all see my nails? They are cute. There. Look, are they black or Thank green? You. They're black and like a like a stone gray kind of. It was a milky white, and then she drew like these roses. She drew this, drew this stuff on I there. I love those. Thank you. I love them too. I'm telling y'all, it, it, why 
you were talking about switching over to different black people to do your services, but you were talking about medical professionals. My mm-hmm. nail tech is black. If you're in Atlanta, her name is Medina as well. She's a Detroit crazy. player. Every time you say that. She knows how to. Yeah, her name is Medina. It's called Funky Cold Nails. She does toes too, um, but she does so good with like nail art. You do have to pay a deposit, but she, what I do like about her shameless plug because i just really fuck with her what i do like about her is when you book your nail appointment you book it by the price she has like your budget is fifty dollars this is what you Mm -hmm. can get for fifty dollars you want to pay fifty dollars you book this so that there's Mm -hmm. no confusion at the end of your appointment where you thought she was getting a fifty dollar nail set and it's 120 dollars like now medina i told you i Mm -hmm. wanted to spend fifty dollars she always like how much you want to spend when you come in here with all these designs i can do this i can't do that I love it. Oh, I've never I like had an that. issue. Yeah. I like I've that. never had an issue with it. Mm. Huh. Y'all check her out. That's my girl. I'll, I'll be tagging her in my nail post. I'll post one soon so y'all can see. But yeah, anyway, so I want to eat my hot fry. Uh, we are going to go ahead and move on to Indecisive Diane. Would you stop thinking about what everyone wants? Stop thinking about what I want, what he wants, what your parents want. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What do you want? What do you want? Hey, ladies, it's me, Diane. And this week, I want to do something a little different. Normally, I tell you dates to go meet sugar daddies, maybe do something nice for your man. But this week, it's for the gentleman. Order your lady some flowers. Suck on her toes. Give her some good pussy eating. Something. What are you here for? Take her on a date. Give her some money just because. Not because she doesn't have it, but because you want to. Bye, ladies. I do. So this one is from a young man and his subject line says two simple questions, ladies. He says, how are you lovely ladies doing? We're good. We're good. I look forward to seeing y'all sexy asses on YouTube each week. I wish y'all would pull up to the MIA and do a live show. Medina, I know you cool with Mandy and she got Miami ties. So make it happen, please. Well, it's a pandemic, bro. Right. I have two quick questions I would love for y'all to shed some light on. Why is it, in all caps, a woman would agree to being friends with benefits at first and after a while try to tiptoe out that lane and slowly merge into the relationship lane, in all caps? It's 2021, and there is a large population of women that don't understand that a man ain't going to make you his lady once you accepted the role as his friends with benefits. Two, that was the first question. Here's the second one. Why do some women give the same nigga chance after chance to break her heart and then take her broken heart and bitter attitude out on men that had nothing to do with the horrible decisions she made by being loyal to a fuck boy? I will never understand that logic at all. Keep doing y'all thing. I added my pick for shits and giggles. Hmm. I'm going to take a look. See, don't delete it yet. Um, Okay, well, the first part, Everybody doesn't feel like you feel. Yeah, there are some guys who would never like consider it, but sometimes men change their mind. You've never like accepted a side nigga role or something and then you started feeling the girl or just accepted a role as a friend knowing you want it more. Sometimes that happens. I don't mm-hmm. think that women really expect really deep down in their souls. I don't think that they expect it to always change, but it's like... You shoot your shot. Y'all slide in DMs all the time. Why do y'all slide in DMs of girls that have never even given you an inkling that she would be their type? Because you saw something that you liked and it was like, well, closed mouths don't get fed. So that's mm-hmm. probably what it is. That's the first part. And then what was the second thing about The second baggage? part was why do some women give the same nigga chance after chance to break their heart? Because the dick what? is good. <laughs> That dick is slamming. It's slanging. Okay. It's slanging. He is he not doing shit, shit from the sex peeves list. He is putting it down. I'm and it's it not down, just that the sex love. is good. It He's was a giving song. you an experience. He's taking you on the best dates he you've ever been good. on. 
Yeah. And I'm, I can only speak from men like that. I, if he, if he's a bum ass dude, I don't know, but the niggas that I've been hung up on and you, I keep giving you a chance is because you're giving me everything that I've said I wanted. Everything. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, the self-esteem is just shot either way. Uh, yeah, that's why. And yeah. Are you trying? Is he trying to like move in on somebody that won't let the ex go? It's just Imagine not your he day. Is, that's what it sounds like. This sounded real. Like he's there's somebody that really made him mad. I wanted to go back to the friends with benefits part and just mm -hmm. um say like this is why I really don't like doing friends with benefits because that that option is always there. Sometimes your friends with benefits turns into something else, especially when you start spending a lot of time with someone and you maybe see another side of them and you start, True. you can't help it when you start to like somebody. And that's mm -hmm. where the, the friends with benefits starts going into the relationship lane because it's like, now I really fuck with you and we are friends. That's and why should you not say something just because you had a different idea in the beginning? Right. I'm not your side chick. We're friends with benefits. And they always say the best relationships start off as friendships. So it's like, bruh, that's why it happens. And if you don't like that, I don't think you should. I don't do the friends with benefits because I know somebody going to start liking somebody. Yeah. So you just don't need to participate. Yeah. You, you've got some other things to do, I'm sure. All right. Next one. Um, hey, ladies. I absolutely love your show and I look forward to new episodes every week. And I hope y'all read this because I need help. Well, girl, we are very late, but I hope you like it. All right. I don't want to make this too long, but I need some advice. So let me just jump straight into it. I'm 22. My boyfriend is 24. We've been dating for nine months and everything was great between us. No cheating, no breakups, just us together all the time. God damn. His whole family even loves me and I'm the first girl he's ever brought home to meet the whole family. After about four months of us dating seriously, I suggested that we share passwords and locations just because I felt that we were at that point. But he declined and every time, yeah, I bet he did. And every time um, I would ask, he would just... He would always simply just say, no. He didn't say it harsh or anything, just no. And I trust you, so you should trust me. Well, fuck that. I was curious the other day, so I took a peek in his phone while he was uh while he went to pay for our food. I didn't find anything in his messages, snap or anything, except his camera roll. When I tell you I was shocked, he had multiple videos of him fucking girls from his past at different angles. Girls giving him head, girls shaking ass while he beat his dick, all types of crazy shit. Like a lot of videos, and most of them were with white girls. Not that it matters, but I'm thick and brown skinned, and I'm apparently, from what I saw, not like his type. I confronted him about the videos, and he said that he doesn't look, and he doesn't look at them, and they're just in his phone from the past, but he still ain't deleted them. And on top of that, he got mad at me telling me I invaded his privacy and that he cannot trust me anymore. Help. I don't know what I should do next because he didn't cheat or do anything wrong. But why does he still have the videos in his phone? Plus, now I feel a little awkward and kind of jealous after seeing him fucking the other girls. And I don't know what my next step should be. Should I leave him since clearly he can't get over the past? Should I make him delete the videos? Or should I just stay and chill out since the videos were from the past and he said he doesn't look at them? P.S. If it helps, we have amazing sex all the time and he comes back for more. LOL. Sincerely, a poor, confused young lady in love. No, it doesn't matter. But go ahead. The videos don't matter. Um, that, that no, that they have amazing sex all the time. That doesn't. Matter. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I this the life that I've lived, and I can only like answer this from my experiences. I think he is cheating. I just think he is really. Some people are impeccable at covering up. He might not cheat all the time, but that I'm sorry, sis. That nigga is cheating. I, as someone who condones cheating and is an avid cheater. I know a cheater and that nigga is cheating. He's just really good at hiding it. And you're not going to find out yet, but one day you'll find out. You'll be just as shocked as how you saw them videos. See if he got Snapchat in his phone. Go look at that app. That's what you need to look at. Number one, mm -hmm. especially because y'all young. He on that Snapchat and that's where the hoes at. I know. Yeah. Anyway, um, that and I want everybody to remember just because you fuck a nigga right and just because you give him everything that he wants didn't even know he wanted and you delivered it does not mean that he will not cheat so i don't know if the man is cheating or not i don't know that man uh chances are yeah he probably is i mean 
that's what they do, especially at a young age. Um, and he doesn't want to share his location with you. He doesn't want to do these things, which is a little like relaxed girl, but I don't know, girl. Um, I think that you should just break up with him. Honestly, like what, for what, what do you say? Yeah. He's got you feeling all insecure. You, when you're probably going to be trying to do more tricks for him and stuff. <laughs> when, when people get you it out, ain't gonna go like, better. Stop. Trust yeah, me, I'm a go through go a better. phone type of girl that has never worked out well. Where are those niggas at now? Not fucking me. So, like, go ahead. Like, I think that when a man um, does want you to feel secure um, in your relationship, he is going to do everything to make you feel secure. Mm -hmm. Trust me on that. If he is out cheating, he's going to be playing mind games with you and saying... I trust you, so you should trust me. Yeah, because you know I'm dumb as fuck. That doesn't work. That's not mm. a good reason. So I hope you just um, move on. The family, like he would, I'll tell you what. The families will lie for their uh, they little brother, their son, their cousin. Oh, That's their family. So will lie. They might fuck with you. They you don't be met the, the other girlfriend. They don't met okay. the other woman. She was they there yesterday, and then here you come. Y'all all getting Christmas presents. And the so, mama don't really like you. She just smiling your face. Smile sorry, on your face. Mm. Sorry, sis. We really I'm put sorry. put that on you, but it's the truth. So go ahead. It's and better up that with you that know now instead of being old and bitter like me. <laughs> I'm just trying yeah. to save you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, oh well that was both of them alright so that was it for the advice remember if you would like to ask us a question on the show you can email it to us askcocktails at gmail.com and now it's time for the cocktails uh huh uh huh uh huh uh huh So, if you would ever like to send us your own cocktail, send it to us at cocktails.atl at gmail.com. I have a cocktail. Ooh, I can't wait. (laughs) Girl. So, y'all already know I had mentioned how I was going to Houston to see Uh a little bay. Now, yeah. I told you guys how I set up this scene and everything. I'm going to bypass that part because we didn't do a good job of staying in character. But we still made a cocktail that night. We had a, we had a weekend of cocktails. Whoa. So we had one night of sex. This was Saturday night. And it was I brought a shit ton of toys. I was like, I, there were, I got some new toys and I really want to try them out. And I was like, babe, we're trying out all these toys. I don't care what you say. We're trying them out. Mm. He's like, man, all right. Bring the toys. I have them laid out. Have them cleaned. I have them sitting by the bed so we can just, you know, grab and pull and taste test everything. So yeah. he's hitting it from the back. And this was just like one of those mind blowing sex sessions. Like I was screaming. I was saying thank you. Like screaming thank you. Whoever our hotel neighbors were probably like, who is, what's happening? <laughs> so I grab the, this butt plug, this anal plug. And it's one of my favorites. It's you know, you see the size. Mm-hmm. I um, grab it off of the yeah. countertop. I put it in my butthole. He's hitting it from the back. Well, he's really starts to hit it. And he grabs my ass and spreads it open. And he's like hitting. It was. It felt so good. I could actually feel it now. And so I reach back subtly and pull the butt plug out because I felt it kind of like going in too deep, right? So I was like, mm-hmm. let me pull this out. So I pulled it out, it back down. He's fucking me, fucking me, fucking me. We come. It's great. We start back up like literally maybe like a minute after same position. He's hitting it from the back. He takes the butt plug. I don't realize he has taken the butt plug because there was a lot going on. I was playing with my pussy. He was spitting in my booty. Like it was just like a lot. So he grabs the butt plug. He puts it in my ass. I kind of felt something, but I didn't really feel it because everything was just wet because I had just come. So he puts mm-hmm. it in my butthole and he's fucking me. I mean, we are, I came so, you know, when you come so hard, you're just like, exhausted. God. Yes, but it also, like, you just feel good. You feel like a new person. Like, you just got baptized. So (laughs) he comes really hard. He lays on top of me. He goes, "Uh uh-oh. And I was like, what? I thought that he was about to say the condom broke. And I was about to say, I'm 32. You know, I'm going to keep this baby. What? (laughs) Kiki. 
all of it sounds like things are going in that need to get the fuck out. So I was like, what, 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 what? He's like, all right. He was like, just calm down. I was like, what? I didn't know he put it in. He was like, the the that butt thing is lodged up in your booty hole. And I was like, what? Nadina. I was like, you're playing. I said, you're playing. He was like, no, I'm not playing. I said, no, I was like, I didn't put it back in. He said, I put it in though. And I said, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Are you sure it didn't fall out? I was like, this part, this clamp part, I was like, this keeps it from going, like getting sucked in your butt. I was like, so no, make sure, are you sure it didn't fall out? He was like, babe, it's in your butthole hallway. And so I was like, oh my gosh. I am face down, ass up. And I know that's not, who's saying this on Boosie? I know this is not how he meant it. This was supposed to be pleasurable. I'm face down, ass up. He's literally, I'm holding my butthole open, like spreading it open. Cause now I'm scared. I'm like, there's a whole metal foreign object in my asshole. He's Sex was about digging. to send you to the ER. And I was like, there is, I am not about to go to the hospital. It was 3 a.m. and have doctors who aren't even mind digging my butt. I'm embarrassed. I was embarrassed. That's, I was like, oh my gosh. So he is digging in my butt trying to get it. And he's like, push, push. So I'm like pushing. There's dookie juice coming out. At this point, it is just disgusting. Like I am like, <laughs> Kiki. It was the worst. I've never, I've never had this happen. So I'm mad now. Now I'm mad. He's like, you need to relax. I'm like, I need to relax. Something is lodged in my asshole and your fingers are man fingers and you're digging them in and you still can't get it. We have to go to the hospital. He's like, well, wait, just go on the toilet and maybe you can like just push it out. So I'm in the bathroom. He's coaching me like I'm giving birth to a child. I'm like, <sighs> Kiki. So then I'm like, we got to go to the hospital. I'm about to cry, bitch. My eyes are juicy because now I can feel it. Now I can feel it and it's starting to hurt. You know, yeah. I just got the long nails. I you had to put, put them up there. I had to put two fingers in my ass and I could feel, I was going like this and I could feel it and I'm pushing at the same time. And then I was like, I, I got to put my, uh, my ring finger in there. So I put my ring finger in there. I have three fingers up my ass. I find, I'm pushing and I'm pushing and I'm pushing. I'm crying and I'm pushing. And finally, finally I can feel it moving and I hook it and I pull it out. Bitch. It and hurts. you didn't throw that thing away? I would be I like, didn't throw it away because I clubs. knew this is for the fans. If anybody wants to buy this, it's going for one thousand. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> but I wanted to show it. I wanted to show this on the show because now I understand why they have different sizes. I apparently have a master class booty hole. I should have been using this one instead of this very small one. And, and and I could really go larger than this, but we didn't know that my ass was mastered. I now am having like some leakage problems because I kind of ripped my butthole. And the other day when I was sitting here, I farted and poop came out, Kiki. And I went to the bathroom and I was like- You sharded. I sharded. And I know it's because when this came, when I pulled this out, I, I loosened my asshole. All right, boys and girls. Um- <laughs> This is exactly why when y'all send me all this stuff about putting stuff up your shitter, I just cannot get with it. If something like that happened to me, I am going to die of a brain aneurysm and a heart attack at the same time. That's gross. I'm glad you got it out. Please be careful. Gross. You don't need any more plugs. You need the things with the tail so you can just pull it on out. Okay? That's exactly what I need. Next time, just use your pussy. It's there. Yeah. Yeah, it was terrifying. Mm. It was terrifying. I, I have nothing uh, <laughs> like that. I'm just going to read some real quick. My God, Medina. I did not think that that was going to be the part two of this. Uh, but thank you for your story. I mean, great story. I hate that that's real and that, that happened to you. Like, what the fuck? My booty hurts now. Okay, let me hurry up and read this. I, I, ooh, I'm feeling uncomfortable. All right. <laughs> okay. So, hey, friends. I love, love, love this podcast. Also, Kiki, I'm convinced you're my soul sister literally every episode. I'm like, yes, bitch. Okay. Well, hey, girl. Anywho, you know why I'm here. So I moved to Texas about three months ago and only new family here. So to occupy myself, I downloaded all the dating apps. So I matched with this guy and he's cool, funny, all that. We texted for about three weeks before meeting. 
due to our scheduling and I, and also I live in Fort Worth and he's in Cedar Hill which is about an hour distance I remember in high school all the fine niggas went to Cedar Hill and DeSoto anyway I was just about to say or DeSoto mm -hmm. and Timberview but anyway okay so oh, yeah. the night we meet we're just hanging out in his car because he was having a party at his home and I wasn't comfortable going in anyways he's smoking I'm drinking it on site I was like yeah I want to fuck this man so anyway, we have sex. Well, damn, that escalated quickly. So anyway, we have sex and woo chile, the best dick I've ever had. Mm. Since then, we link about once a month. So for the past week, we've been heavy on the sending pics back and forth. Him telling me he wants to fuck my throat. So we agreed to link tonight and my God, I'm down. I'm down. Wait, wait, wait. I get down out my car and we go inside. He kind of busy himself cleaning i was pretty tipsy so i'm just staring at him he looks at me and smirks and says i know what's on your mental he grabs my hand and placed it on his rock hard dick and the slut in me pulled his pants down and immediately started sucking that dick he's pushing my hair back and telling me to show him how much i miss this dick i'm sucking and deep throating it all the way down i come back up and he tells me and he pulls me into him and throws my legs up and teases me sliding his dick on my clit. He thinks uh, he sinks into my pussy and went to work. He reached under me and stuck a finger in my ass. Here y'all go. Here y'all go. I was with you now. Wait a minute. <laughs> OMG. I started coming so hard. He began sucking my titties and telling me how good my pussy felt. I could tell he was about to come. So I started whispering, come for me. That did it. He started coming all over my pussy while fucking me, while looking me dead in my eyes. Lord Jesus. It's an hour later. Now I'm at work reminiscing. Sorry for the long read. Bye, ladies. In my indecisive Bye, Diane voice. Girl. That's some good sex. Mm -hmm. I want some good sex. <laughs> <laughs> I said it like it was a Snickers. Hungry. Why wait? <laughs> Grab a Snickers. Grab some dick. I, mm. Yeah, I like when, when the men are pretty much ready to go. Go ahead. Eat my pussy. Slip it in. Let's have a Do good time. All. I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. Okay? <laughs> anyway, that's it this week, you guys. Again, send the cocktails. Cocktails at ATL at gmail.com. Um, any reminders, Medina? Um, make sure y'all sign up uh, for retreat. Paradise and Vibe Yoga Retreat. It's in the Grill, Jamaica, May 1st through May 6th. I will be there and it'll be exciting. Yes, and make sure you guys get your digital copies of Classy Based and you can join my cook uh, cookbook. You can join my book club. Um, I'll put links to all three of those things in the description box. Um, so sign up, join us on these different things. Follow us on Instagram at Cocktails Podcast. I'm at Kiki Said So. And I'm at Coffee Bean Dean. And until next week, you guys, goodbye. Goodbye. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Wait on the track.